trend analysis. All right. First of all, I will, I will take um, month of year. So this is month. Month will take all this. Now, to create a line chart, say month wise revenue, I will just generate. Just form a line chart here. So it forms a very simple line chart. This is starting from the one dimension month and then revenue is in million. Okay. I can just change the number format which is showing M1, M1.2, M and all. Uh, right click here. How to change the number format? Come here and from automatic you have to go to fix. Use thousand separator, okay. Condensed label you have to uncheck. I just created the, uh, you know, the number format from automatic to fixed. Now I have to uncheck the condensed label. If you uncheck this one, then your label will be shown properly. Now, how to add the values on the nodes of this uh, line? Can you tell me? I want to show the values on the nodes also. Each node, I will have values. How many nodes are there? Like this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Okay. So, I have to go to settings, property. Now, we have different individual properties here. Trend line, reference line, title and container, axis line, rows and columns, shapes and detail. I will tell you individual all the properties of this particular chart. So, where we are coming here for data label, I just choose this one. Then, instead of this uh, in non data label, these are called the data labels. Okay. Instead of non, I will enable this value and then it will show beautifully the the revenues on the each nodes of this chart. Okay, I could easily create. Now you can change the thickness of these lines also. Like here we have the different thickness. This is the highest one, this small thickness and there is dotted and this is dotted. This also looks looks nice. So let it be. Now show marker. Now this nodes actually here you will have some marks. Every node should have some better marks. So if you change this as marker, every node will have a dots. And then you can assign some different colors to these nodes or you can keep it as it is as to the so every chart, every nodes has got some points which will be more identical to my node. It can be same as this, it can be different as this. Okay. So this is a very simple line chart. So you can also instantly change the line to a different uh, styles here. Okay. I mean those charts are not there here but I can still change this chart types. So we will create. We will create one by one. The different uh, visualizations and different styles are here. So this, this chart is uh, found to be okay with me. No. Line chart. And then I can change the chart line color. Maybe red, maybe anything else. This is nice. Okay. So this chart is up to this. Now, I will just uh, I will not take uh, much more uh, uh, visualization so that the shape will be smaller. Rather, I will create some panels so that there will be a lot of panel in the bottom. So, instead of this creating this chart from the beginning, I will maybe I can duplicate it. I can just copy to a new panel. I can move to a new panel. Okay. 
so these are the you know dashboards which we have created already set an sales analysis multi dimensional analysis multi major analysis and so on and if you want to copy to a new sheet also you can create this will be copied to a new dashboard so i don't want to copy this to new uh, sheet or dashboard i will just make a panel new panel the first kpi name is Panel one is there, uh, so I can just give the name as monthly trend. Monthly sales trend. Same thing can be given here also. Visualization name, rename, and monthly sales trend. And then in the second panel, so uh, if if you browse the micro strategy dashboard in a tablet, in the tablet you have to download the micro strategy mobile app. And in that case, if you are taking individual uh, KPIs in individual panels, then these dots will not be visible in the. Uh, you know you cannot just click like this. You have to swipe in the tablet. You have to swipe left or swipe right. So very beautifully, you can see the dashboards and object will be changing on swipe left. Okay. So this buttons will be uh, shown and you have to swipe it in the tablet. Here in the web browser, you have to click it. Okay. So in this uh, dashboard, in this uh, visualizations, I uh, have this month, and I will take um, what multiple measures. The same way I will represent. I have this re um, uh, revenue versus sales. I've got multiple measures here. Okay, for individual uh, lines, you can give individual colors. So this is a comparison here, just like we were doing for bar chart. Same kind of representation you can create here also. So just go to this uh, uh, shapes and data label, choose the particular uh, uh, KPIs here. So revenue is one, uh, which is red color, and the marker color could be maybe red. You want to define the marker color uh, to anything. You can also choose, like say, I will stick with the black. I will give that blue color. And then for this uh, price, it is so it is a green. And then for this quantity. It is blue. So there are three different comparisons we do have here. Values are uh, showing like this. 
and that's it. So uh, if you want to show this in thousands also, what I have to do? The pricing which is showing in K. Right click, condense label. Right click, condense label. So this is a comparison chart with this one is a single uh, dimension and this is multi uh, single dimension and multi major. So price versus versus trend. So when we compare by month, it is a trend. So then I can just simply copy it to um, copy to a new panel so last I got this uh, in the third now here I will take the you know fragmentation so I'll just take it as month year wise okay date is this and then I will take year as a fragmentations so I'll just take year before month so that what will happen this will be break by month now here we have different years 2010, 2011 and 2012 if we just bring year below two months what will happen month It will show the erect data, okay, which will not be easy to understand. So, as you need to understand the granularity of the data. Now, if I consider year and month, which has which data has the highest granularity? Definitely, it is month, okay. So, year is there in the top level. Year is the parent and month is the child, okay. Month is the child of year. So from the date attribute, first parent is year, then quarter, then month, then uh, weeks, then days. Okay. So these are all the weeks, then weekdays and date. So these are all the granularity of the data. So first of all, we have to always keep the higher granularity of data on the top level. So if you arrange them in this way, dot. Okay. Now here I have to change it as sorry okay so this looks nice uh, I have different years first one two three these are the three different colors which represents the legends, legends of the chart and dimension is there. So it is multi-dimensional or multi-major chart. Every year you can see what is the growth of your revenue in 2010 what is the growth and in which month it has highest growth so this is how we can take the decision in 2010 there was a month of may which has a highest sales likewise in 2011 the month of march has highest sales so looking into the past month and future month you can make a story this is how it works Now, this is all about multi-dimensional and multi-major. We will create, uh, uh, you know, stack and series chart here. You click uh, plus only, then a new panel will be instantly created. Okay. Here, here we have a plus mark. So. You while you're creating a new panel, right click here, add new panel or otherwise just click plus. And then here, um, 
I'll take month. Okay. Not every month. I'll just take gen month as gen week. Month of the year. So I'll have 12 months of the data. Now. I would take month wise sales. Just make a line chart. Month wise sales. Then I would like to break them into products. In which month is having uh, higher sales? So mostly I can see overall. This is overall data. This is irrespective of any year. If you want to change it, just change it to replace with. Month May. This is the month of May. This is the month of uh, excuse me. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Okay. I, I'm just taking five minutes. I drop my daughter and come back. Okay. Just, uh, sure. You can continue, no problem. Sure. Or else I'll uh, take a little break. Okay, you come back and just yeah, then I'll, I'll, I'll just mute my, I'll, I'll unmute myself.